What's your name? My name is Linda Davis. Linda Davis. Miss Davis, what happened? Well, we were in New York working the polls. Juliana was running for mayor. So we were working the election. And about 9.15, everything just, she saw this, I thought it was a big black bird. And it was that second plane that I saw hit. If I had been, well, she, before I got back from the um, restaurant with the breakfast, I met, well, I ain't going to say I made God get everything he's supposed to do. I ran for my life that day. And I ran with my mouth open and it caused me to get confused and I had to get a spin in my heart. But I just want to say one thing. Every time I see a mass shooting or, uh, or somebody, a mass thing with a bunch of people, that day just hit me in my face. You're never going to forget it. But you remember every time. But every and so so you live with this. So I'm living with being a soul survivor and first responder of 9-11, September 11th. What were you doing that day that had you in the vicinity and how close we were working were... we were working the polls with Giuliani. He was running for mayor that day. And how close were you to the events that happened? About a quarter of a mile. You pointed before. Where? Yes. About how far? About from here to the, uh, like I say, to the highway out there where that white truck is. Okay. About that far from, from, from here to there. It, and, it, and all we did was run, run. We didn't take pocketbooks. We didn't take papers. We didn't take nothing. And we didn't get paid for two and a half years because we had nothing to go by. We had to start it all over. But I thank God. My daughter said, Mama. You coming out of New York because you're going to get killed. I said, girl, I've been living in New York all my life. What is she talking about? She said, it's time. So I came to Mississippi. I love it here. I'm going to have an only child. And God, only through the grace of God that I'm sitting here telling this. And I've never told anyone on camera because it's very hard to talk about. Of course. It's very emotional. You try to hold back. And then you talk to people and you hear their story. But only, like I said, only through the grace of God that I'm still here today telling this And I thank you, sister. I thank you.